So in London, you're looking for false breakouts and runs above relative equal highs when you're bearish or a single high that is inside of the previous day's range. Now, I know there's no chart here, but I want you to think about it conceptually. Let's look at it like this. If you have note-taking instruments in front of you, this should be an easy thing for you to do. Let's just say, hypothetically, you draw a, a rectangle, leaving room for a rectangle to the right of it, okay? So you're going to draw a rectangle, and at the top of that rectangle, you're going to say 100 is the high, and the low is 20. So you have a previous range of 80 units. It could be pips, it could be points, it could be whatever. But we're going to say it's 80 units. Then you're going to see where you open up at 2 o'clock in the morning, New York local time. Wait a minute. What do you mean open up, ICT? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, look, you just said, and I understand that the market starts trading at 6 o'clock. What are you talking about opening at 2 o'clock? Yeah, that, now we have a new opening range. 2 o'clock's opening price. What is that? The first opening price on the first one-minute candlestick at 2 o'clock, New York local time. You want to note that. Now that's an important, that's an important price point. From that price point, you want to see it be, if you're bearish, you want to see it be below the 20 level of the previous day's range because that's what that rectangle would represent. And that's for an example, let's just say at 2 o'clock on the trading day that you're in right now, say it's 18 in reference to the previous day's range. So now you're below the low of yesterday's daily range. So from 6 o'clock all the way now to 2 o'clock in the morning, the market has done whatever it's done. If those highs, that relatively equal high or a single high in the previous range between 20 and 80, if there's a single high or relative equal highs in that lower one third or quarter point of that uh, previous rectangle that you're drawing out that represents the previous day's trading, you're anticipating at two o'clock in the morning on the trading day that you're watching price at right now, you want to see a Judas swing shoot up. You're going to anticipate that. You're not going to react to it. You're waiting for it. You want to see that very thing happen. Now, as an ultra short-term scalper, you can buy that, but you have to be very nimble because it can go up there and turn on a dime quickly because London is a false breakout characteristic time period. When it runs up there, why are we anticipating a run back into the previous day's range, but only the lower quarter or one-third percent of the, the range? Because we don't think that the previous day's high is going to be taken out. And we don't think that half of the previous day's range is going to be a factor at all. The best shorts are going to occur in the lower half of the previous day's range when bearish. <gasps> what did you just say? The best shorts will occur in the lower 50% of the previous day's range, where do they form? Above old highs, inside of that range. Where you look for it, just like the algorithm will look for it, it's going to look into 15-minute high or highs or 5-minute high or highs inside that range. So if you're in a 5- or 15-minute chart, it can't hide from you. <laughs> it's, it's right there. And we're going to anticipate, you're going to anticipate the market running up there. And when it does, you paper trade it. You tape read it. You do not live trade it. You have to condition yourself to do this. And it takes weeks and months to do it. Not, oh, a couple of weeks I've been doing it. I don't know what I'm doing. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do not. It takes time to desensitize yourself to the fear that, London can create because it's very, very volatile. It can run up there and rip right lower. And really, if you know what you're doing, you can miss it or second guess it and totally do harm to yourself. So in London, you're looking for turtle soup scenarios, okay? And continuation on the basis of the higher time frame order flow. High a day, low a day is what's formed in. The London session, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time. 